Hi guys, how you going? I'm about to just do a small video this time. Um, it's, it's gonna be another video that shows the testing that I've done on and with this. But I'm gonna put the uh, BIOS settings up for an FX8150 on a Crosshair V uh, Formula Z with uh, Samsung based G-Skill rip jaws, uh, 4x4 kit of 2400C9, 911-1131-2T it is. Uh, it's not Heiko, it's CKO, weirdly enough. So I'm gonna show the, every bio screen, because that's, when I was younger and trying to work it all out and everything, you know, you, you, you can't expect the hardware to be the same, but you were using a, a, a benchmark of a video you might have seen with some bio settings, yeah? You thought you were doing it all right, but you don't, there were screens you didn't see, now it probably didn't change anything. But just that doubt was in your head as to whether something was on another screen that you don't want to change that you hadn't. So I will show all the boring screens as well. Dink. So, um, no, it's just been running um, uh, uh, Radeon uh, Vega 64 that's in it. Uh, the cards, uh, the the system is running, the, bent, the BIOS is going to show you 4.6s, uh, which despite setting a 200 base clock in BIOS, I'm still getting 4.614 to 1.15 or so. It's fluctuating in the base clock. I'm not an expert on AMD at all, I've just had a go. Uh, bin two chips. And uh, I wanted to see how much the underlying platform could support the the Vega 64 and, and whatnot in gaming. Um, so there's another bit on that, but I'll get the BIOS settings and show you that. Um, you know, you want a quick look at what? Have a look at it with me. No, you can't. Oh, I'll just do the BIOS on this video and I'll show you the vid stuff up. The BIOS, this is just showing you where the, the computer is sitting at. Uh, so 4.615, as I said about the VCLK. The core voltage, um, uh, I'm trying to remember what the CPU BIOS at, 1.4. 1.440, I think. Um, I don't know, we'll find out shortly anyway. With a, it was a mid range LLC, I think a third from the top. Uh, BIOS revision uh, for the Crosshair Formula Z that I'm using is version 2201. So the memory's XMP profile, you can see there, I didn't use DOCP, I automatically, I, I just set the frequency and the timings. And I did set the command rate in the background as well. Um, I didn't actually touch the voltages and I didn't go and check that. Oh, okay, it's just way over. No, it's not, I thought it was over volting it. It's at 1.65, it's decided that obviously it knows the XM profile is close and needs that. I have just noticed an issue though. I've been mucking around with the Northbridge and uh, HT clocks and things like that and I am missing some of my memory showing. So, the last benchmark I did, which you guys didn't see because it's a different thing, um, it's not really valid anymore. I might have to go redo that one, but uh, yeah, it seems to drop a, a memory channel or two, or a dim or two, depending on something to do with Northbridge and, or HT clock, um, maybe I haven't got a voltage up enough to support it. I'm not an expert on the platform, so um, I will find out and learn, I guess, but uh, I'll uh, show you the BIOS settings for this as I had it stable with all the RAM memory, RAM prime before, blah, blah, blah. So I've just been like, I'll take the tweaks off that I've just done. The uh, HD Northridge uh, uh, back to back to auto, um, which we'll set, we'll set that at. Uh, and for the first time in ages, I'm so lazy at seeing my profiles in, in, in BIOS. I've got a go-to one, which is just a 4.5, um, no XMP or anything like that. It's a go-to jump in at, at number eight there at the bottom. Uh, 4.6, 24, C9. Um, uh, what's that? Um, the 10, oh, 10, 10 minutes PR means uh, 10, 10 minutes prime. Stable. So oh, it passed the 10 minute mark. Uh, I'm sure we all do it differently. You know, there's a there's a pH three core th and that at 3600. Yeah, I don't know. I'm boring, boring you with this, but let's. Uh, I'll, I'll load those from profile now. Yep. Stabilise this camera so I can get sorted out here. 
Okay. Still can't bring myself to use the mouse very much. Uh, okay, so here we go. I have it on settings at manual for the AI overclock tuner. No CPU level up. Uh, ratio at 23. Uh, some people are going to scream at me here. I left some stuff on auto that I often set manually, but it was doing what it needed to do, so I left it just for the time being. Um, PCI Express frequency I would normally set to 100 personally. Uh, so, frequency just set it manually at 2400. Uh, as you can see for the CPU and HD um, autos. Spread spectrum and PCI Express uh, spread spectrum, I normally disable as well. It's strange I've got those like that, but that's how I've done it this time. Memory timing set manually at 9, 11, 11, 31. And I believe I set the 2T manually down there. Sometimes I would also set the TWCL, which is your write latency. Uh, depending on what memory I'm using or whatever, uh, whether I care enough to do it. Next, driving control. I'll show you the screens because I said I would have promised. You can pause any of if you want. I haven't touched anything there. So, GPU dim post screen. Um, I don't know why it's not showing my graphics card there. Strange, these sorts of little features do this bit sometimes. So, so load line calibration. Now, see, this is all pre set pretty basically. This is this is stuff that sometimes I'll explain. Load line calibrations at high, I often would run at the second highest ultra high. Um, but it does put less stress on the VR and less heat if I can keep the LC down a little bit. Current capability, uh, I'm often setting that manually at 130 as soon as I'm ready to overclock. Phase control. Uh, you know, extreme would often be the case. I leave frequency, uh, switching frequencies to later. T probe would go into extreme uh, normally. VRM spread spectrum, I am a little bit unfamiliar with, to be honest with you, but uh, I would, I had, I haven't touched that. That was disabled anyway. Uh, load line calibration on the CPU Northbridge uh, bus. I, I'm not, I'm not mucking with any of that at the moment and the de uh, the ram current capability at 100 percent i normally got that up to so and the power DRAM power phase control uh the board's only rated to 2400 i'm quite surprised that it just it, it really gave far less trouble than i would imagine most of the intel boards i've played with before to get the ma uh, manual uh, so get the men uh, memory running how i want it to uh, so manual voltage at 1.45 there we go not, not 1.44 i lied yet uh, left the rest on all the way. Yeah, you know, if, change if need be. But it's not it's not stupidly spiking anything in the voltages uh, either, which is unusual for me. I'm used to that happening. Uh, so C1 disabled. Um, you can stick that up yet. Yeah. Zebra. Um, I could set the, set, uh, set the interleaving if I wanted to. Um, you, know, you can see the settings there. That's very exciting. Let's get to enable despite I'm running Windows 10. Every screen. You won't wonder if you've missed something. Did I miss one in an I feel, I feel like I missed an earlier screen there. Tweaker page, no? Yeah. Okay, I'm just wasting time now. I'll show you that. I can't remember. Not in my mind, not remembering at all. Core activation on auto. Onboard devices. This is something different people do different things to. Could be a good reference point. Uh, 
don't know how I should keep that. Actually, I should look into that. I don't know what setting to put that on. Your rock connect's a fun thing, but it doesn't always work properly. Uh, this is on a rampage four. It wouldn't. It wouldn't uh, change things immediately, or even within the. Um, you know, you knew it was failing. It was doing something wrong in the background. So that's my point. Bottom of the board here. Okay, so. Uh, voltage monitor isn't going to need to have any adjustments anyway, but we're still going to show it all to you. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give you any advice here. Do what you want. That's your call. Hate logo. Full screen logo. Hate, hate, hate. We say it every time. Don't do it. Uh, I normally put that on keep current, makes it easy to get retrieve your previous settings. Motor oh, clock, you're gonna have a crash. Oh, I said every screen, didn't I? Okay, so what am I missing? Am I missing anything for you? Here we go. So CSM settings. There's saying, you know, it's UEFI mode. Whoops. Key management, yeah, who cares? Anything else I need to bore you with that we, you know, before we can give up on this? I'm getting a bit towards the end of it, aren't I? And there we go. Okay. So. So. Transition. Look at it on the hardware itself that's actually involved in the system. Um, if you like me, you like your hardware, and it's nice to know. So. Yeah, Crosshair v, v Formula Z, as said before. I uh, can't see the revision, I think it was revision one anyway, standard was on this board, but uh, uh, reference design, uh, Vega 64, it's a HIS uh, model. Uh, what else have we got? So, just a Ram fan, just blowing air over unnecessarily, probably, over, that's the bit some people will be interested in. Now, a lot of memory guys out there will see that 2500 and go, oh yeah, I can't, but it's not, it's not in this case. Just a four uh, EK uh, water block. It looks like if I look in there, we've got a couple of little bits. I think we're about to strip this one down. Uh, I put that fan there just because I uh, cool down those heat sinks. Um, on these open beds, it's not always ideal. The airflow, got a temp sensor in over there in Australia at the moment. We're just hitting summer, it's a little bit warm. Um, shorts and a shirt I'm wearing, so 30 degrees while it's just sitting there. Bias tends to run a little bit warmer than idle in OS though, so this needs a full on tidy up if it was going to remain, but it was really just a te temporary setup. But, um, details of water loops and how to set up things properly. Um, it is using a UT60 RAD, which is one of the best 360s you'll ever, ever use. Uh, three VARDARs in pool configuration on that, uh, with a fan, fan speed controller under, underneath and all that, a, a universal controller. And I think that's probably all about, oh, power supply, of course. No, uh, the hard drive, it's just using a little 60 gig piece of rubbish over here, uh, and a 320 spinning drive. There's a three terabyte drive over here, which I just didn't get around to doing so. There's not much point because I was going to change the system again. The power supply running in it is a Corsair, can't see it too. It's a Corsair AX 1200. Uh, good power supplies, I've got a couple. Uh, and I think that's about all you need, need to know, just the, the hardware run, run down, so you know at 1.4 volts, running at 4.6 that, you know, I, um, I, what, what, what was it running at? Uh, prime, I don't think uh, temps ever went above 61 degrees, and that's today when it's a bit warmer. So. Right, so there's your BIOS settings, you can see them there. There will be another video, or a combination thereof, uh, with some testing and stuff to see where oh, it's sort of worthwhile using a, a good graphics card in a in a system like that that 
single core performance was a, a bit average, uh, but you know, with a small, well, they kept up almost with the 3770K uh, wooden, wooden 8350, sorry, which wasn't the same, uh, the pole driver and, and bulldozer architectures. Uh, but say for example on rendering sedimentary testing I've, I've had it where it would uh, 4.5 beta 3770k and not quite get to the IPC of the 4770k I don't think so does it slow the games down all that watch the vid and find out but it's tested with Far Cry uh, Time Spy Fire Strike I think that's it I might chuck a unigen in there somewhere um, guys, go check out my channel. Subscribe, all that sort of stuff that everyone tells you to do every time. Uh, you'll never, or unsubscribe, if you ever see me sitting there with a bunch of bloody boxes and motherboard boxes and shit behind me. Yes, the place is a mess. It's because I do shit. I don't spend, I have time to sit there spending it on create video creation. My videos aren't as special as others. Uh, or clean the place up. <laughs> Well, who needs to clean it up? Anyway, it's man mess. I know where it is. If no one moves it, I know what's going on. Yeah? Most of you understand that, thing. So, go and check out the other vids. There's some good stuff. There's overclocking 39, 30Ks. There's 58, 20Ks using SOC Champion board. Uh, using good boards all the time. X99 Rampage 4 on the X, uh, X79. Uh, Z270 with a, a God chip uh, 770, uh, 770K. Um, with some awesome bead eye that does, you know, C124200. So that's going to be made into a daily in the Corsair D9 just shortly. Um, D900, sorry. Uh, as I've had to get the SOC out of it. So that'll be another vid. I've got a fair bit of content coming through. I make the little vids. I don't do one of the vids. And I've got to get back and do it and all that sort of stuff. So this one should finish. I will post this. I'll put these, splice these together and I'll post this straight away. It's been a while. Overclocking Yobbo, signing out, fair dink.